it's pretty tough whenever you get in the summertime and it's getting hot outside and you got to keep on eating and trying to maintain the weight and bulk and everything and trying to maintain your strength in the gym um but just working a lot in this heat it makes it you just i just got to eat a lot more which i feel like i've been doing really good with that i've been drinking two to three protein shakes a day um eating breakfast two lunches a chicken and rice for a good to the gym or a banana and a sandwich or and then I eat a good fish, broccoli, and rice for dinner every night. Um, just eating healthy, and I haven't drank any soda or anything like that in a week or two. I've just been drinking water, milk, and orange juice. And I felt really good the past week. Um, I thought I was losing my strength, as I saw in the last video. I could only get 365 for three. And I went back and squatted the other day, and I got 405 for two. So I feel like just eating good is proving me wrong, and I can possibly fix uh, my problem of thinking that I can't gain strength during the summertime because of all this heat. But as long as I keep eating good, I'm going to keep trying to do good and uh, hopefully my strength will keep going up during the summer and on throughout the rest of the year. But today we're going into the gym. I'm working out with Joe. Joe is the hype man. He brings all the energy. So I'm excited about working out with him and putting him in this video. Um, I'm not sure what we'll do today, how heavy I'll go or anything like that. If I feel good, I might do some heavy stuff. But Either way, hopefully it's going to be a pretty good leg day, um, and I hope y'all enjoy it. But I just want to say real quick that I appreciate all that subscribed and y'all helped me get to 150 subscribers. Um, I really appreciate that, and I thank y'all for watching these videos. Um, if there's anything y'all would like to see better or something I can do better or any advice I can give y'all or just simple videos I can make for y'all, uh, just put them in the comments. I'll be glad to get uh, feedback from y'all and it gives me more ideas on what to post and stuff so if y'all can do that that would mean a lot um like i said thank y'all again for 150 subscribers uh please like and subscribe if you're new like this video and uh we'll get straight into the leg workout let's go baby you already know we got a youtube today we about to tee up i'm about, about to, to do today i'm about to shoot 365 i'm gonna go for a new pr 365 365 let's go all right let's go I warmed up my, my hamstrings a little bit, my lower back, and uh, about to get to it now. Feel good, feel loose. Let's see what we can do today. Look at this man, this man a beast. No, and make sure y'all check out his socials. This man is blowing up right, right now. Never squatted before about Mr. the Mr. 100K in the building. Let's go, Bernard. Hey, why don't you see it, man? This ain't about to fly. Uh, Bernard the Great. <laughs> oh, <man>. oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That shit about broke my damn bag. <laughs> hundreds, even thousands of dreams of heart in your wake. Dreams breathe life into men and can cage them in suffering. Men live and die by their dreams, but long after they've been abandoned, they still smolder deep in men's hearts. The man who would be my friend must have his own reason for living beyond me. And he should put his heart and soul into protecting his dream. He 
should never hesitate to defend it, even against me. Some see nothing more than life and death. They are dead, for they have no dreams. So, like I said in my intro, I proved myself wrong again today. Back up to the four, five, for three. Felt pretty good. Moved kind of smooth. Um, I believe I might could have got a little inch lower, but that's just me being hard on myself. But we freaking killed that. I'm freaking happy that I got it for three again. And here's Joe over here. Let's go talk to him about his little squat PR. Tell him about your little 365. Let's go, baby. 365 in the books. It was a great battle. I had it for like five or six seconds and like the negative. And my face get like a tomato. Like that dude from Sesame Street. Bro, I was like, do not pass out. Do not pass out. And I finally got it. I was like, oh. I did a little Lex Little Roar. I was like, ah. Oh, let's go. All right, guys. So I just put in the little squats today. I didn't uh, record the whole workout. Um, but I feel really good about my four or five for three. I got back to it. Um, like I said earlier, I could only do 365 for three a couple weeks ago, but I slowly built my strength back up even good. So I'm really happy about that. It was a really good push. And then Joe got his old 365 PR. Go ahead and tell him about it. It was crazy, man. I came here today with just a mindset, 365, 365. I mean, it's a big mental barrier. It was huge for me. It's a number I've wanted, and I broke through that. Now I'm ready to get to 405. Yes, Let's go, baby. We lit. All right, so I was gonna put this in here. I was gonna ask Joe, what's been the best thing for you since you started working out? Since I started working out, it's like a, it's a lot of stuff. It's more than one. I mean, I've gained like just self confidence. It's like changed my mindset. It's like discipline and humbling because you have highs and lows. You know, you go on one day, you hit a max, you go through the roof, and the next day, you go up ten pounds, and it's like, whoa, what happened? You know, it's a it's a daily. You just gotta keep going at it, going at it, going at it. It's a daily battle. And it's much more than just going in there and just like putting the work. It's like you are bettering yourself constantly and daily. And it's just uplifting and motivating. This guy right here, that's my fan, man. Day one says I've been here, he's helped me with everything. Squat, bench, deadlift, etc. Like I knew nothing when I came here. I was like a chicken with my head cut off, running around trying to figure out what machine does what, you know what I mean? And I just yeah, fell in love with it. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think the best thing for me has definitely been, like he said, like self-confidence. But now that I've been working out for two two years and some months, a lot of people have like realized like that's what I do a lot of. So being able to help people and give people advice, you know, like he said, um, being able to help him push him to do good and hit PRs and be there for him, you know, and watch him put in the work and seeing your friends do good, like that's really uplifting. And uh, just being around all them guys in there Grow, having like a family of people pushing you and whatnot but like he he taught me up a little bit but i want to say like he he is like he gives me a lot of motivation and inspiration like when he comes in with energy every day i'm like man how does he do this every single time he comes in the gym it's just bam 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 like he's ready to go and uh that gives me motivation to get it gets me hyped up too and uh so uh real thankful for the gym and everything and you're thinking about working out you really want to work out like definitely go try Do the gym it. out and give it a month or two it takes a second to get into the groove of it once you start learning and seeing progress it's the best thing you ever did so absolutely yes sir so appreciate you joe yes sir real leg day we'll see y'all in the next part all right guys it is now saturday me kelsey and joe rode out to the bennettsville fitness world for the first time and it looks freaking crazy they got Let's go, baby. I'm about to get some crazy lifts. We got all kinds of stuff in here. Deadlift platforms. A random big guy. Yeah, it just looks really good in here. But we're going to do some deadlifts today. I don't know what I have and what we might do. But hope you all enjoy it. Everything that you thought had meaning. Every hope, dream, or moment of happiness. None of it matters as you lie bleeding out on the battlefield. 
None of it changes what a speeding rock does to a body. We all die. But does that mean our lives are meaningless? Does that mean that there was no point in our being born? Would you say that of our slain comrades? What about their lives? Were they meaningless? <laughs> they were not! Their memory serves as an example to us all! The courageous fallen! The anguished fallen! Their lives have meaning because we, the living, refuse to forget them! And as we ride to certain death, we trust our successors to do the same for us! Because my soldiers do not buckle or yield when faced with the cruelty of this world! My soldiers push forward! My soldiers scream out! My soldiers rage! Listen, we got some good quality videos. Man, this dude, he's just a beast, man. Make sure y'all like yourself. This dude, he gonna make it big, baby. I'm telling you. Let's go. Alright, thank y'all for watching. <laughs>